like I typically do, I stop by the dumpster around back of the Petco store in Wichita Falls, Texas, checking for uh, items that uh, they might have discarded, uh, like they usually do, such as aquariums, reptile accessories I could use in my rescue, which they typically discard, even though rescues such as mine can use them. And what do I find after just getting on Petco's ass a couple of weeks ago about the neglect and abuse which caused the death of an iguana in their store? I'm looking in the trash and I see this box here which says contains two iguanas. How do you explain this, Petco? Here is a live iguana in this net which you've thrown in the trash. Why is there a live iguana? in this box which has been thrown in the, in the in the freaking trash in the dumpster around back of Petco I'm really glad I had my camera on me to document this these people are so inept and after I just had employees from Petco after I posted uh, the last uh, neglect case uh, where I, I brought an iguana home and tried to save it from a emaciation and I could not save him. He died within probably 10 minutes of me getting him home. And uh, so I go on a campaign on my Facebook page about this. I went on a little rant and I had numerous Petco employees, including their reptile specialist, come on my Facebook page trying to defend this store's actions and telling me that they are not neglectful of their animals uh, and uh, uh, basically uh, trying to explain away the incompetence that these people have which I was pointing out H here we have this how do you explain this uh, Sheila general manager of this pet Petco location Lauren aren't you aren't you the reptile specialist I mean what's going on here you're going to tell me you're not incompetent we have a live baby iguana which has been thrown in a dumpster out here and it is about 102 degrees out here and you're going to tell me that this store's staff is not incompetent y'all are some of the most incompetent people that i have ever seen and you absolutely should not be carrying the people in this store are not competent enough to handle any live animal i'll be posting this to facebook and youtube